Hello, hello everyone, it is I, Plagan. We're here once again to play a little bit of Minecraft. So since last time, recap a little bit, shall we? So we went on a journey around a survival world, and we found ourselves a nice little place to call home after going through various villages, racking up a bunch of emeralds, and uh, all that good stuff. And we walled off a city and trapped a bunch of villagers in another place in their uh, <clears throat> home. So, yeah, we, uh, we're doing all right. Where I left off, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice little base here. Y'all don't have to watch me build, because i am be honest, it took a while. I, uh, the, the last day when I wasn't streaming and hours after the first, it was just, uh, building stuff up. Yes, sir, you do. So, let's take a look at that and see what, uh, I've done. Give you a nice little tour. Switch on over. I've already started up Minecraft while we were talking a little bit. We have that here. There's one thing I actually want to show off, first of all. So let's go up the top side before I like give away all the fun here. So previously, we had started the, uh, or ended the video from like right about here, right? As you can see, a lot has changed in this area, and we'll get to it in a moment. But first, take a look at my custom Minecraft skin. I finally decided to make one. It is, of course, based off my model. You can see the, uh, the heart area there has that, a little bit of rip in the, uh, the cloak. I got my mechanical eye and my ethereal eye. Couldn't really do much for the skull, to be honest, due to the small space. Couldn't have like a nose or anything in there. So I just went with like a, what looks like some teeth there. You can see. Over here on this right arm, I have my tubing, of course. And if you look at the bottom of the hands, you can see it matches the uh, skin color I got going on. Also, you can just barely tell with the, uh, the green tubing on my right arm, there's some little rips there to match the... Up there, but it's hard to tell because of the blackness. And then, of course, I got the uh, the tool belt going on. I even got the little uh, vial right down there. Couldn't do the larger one, of course. Uh, and then I got the uh, couple of rips around the bottom of it. That good jazz. And then on the back, it's just nothing. Just see the belt got there. I really wish you could make transparent skins. But I could make the uh, the bottom transparent and make it look like I'm just kind of floating along, having a good old time. Um, yeah, let's just rest for now to put the day by, just so we can see it in a bright, colorful way. All right. First thing is first, let's open up the map. Zoom in. You can see this is my domain currently. This is pretty much all I've done. Build up this area. Kind of tell you about it here, and then we'll show you a little more in depth. We got a sea turtle pen right here. We've got our main ship body here. Uh, we have uh, the river and the sugar cane here. A couple of farms here, another farm here. These are uh, pumpkin and melon seed patches. We got an enchanting little building here. These are my animal pens. We got a horse pen here. And we got some trees for the lumber. Uh, that's basically everything. And now, look. So, made a little bench here that you can sit on. Makes it look a little bit more realistic that it's a boat. And I had to redo, speaking of the boat, like, the whole right side. The left side was pretty okay in terms of a structural integrity. So I used the, the left side to mirror the right side, or should I say the port side to deal with the starboard side. Huh? Um, I did mix some of the wood around to 
because I think the uh, entire right side was made out of spruce and the left side was made out of oak and then the like there was like jungle wood in the middle and stuff it was it was weird it was a huge mess but anyway here we have the bow as you can see I've used the uh, the spruce wood that I reclaimed to make like the flooring of the upper decks so but over here we have our nice little uh, little prow, and we have, a, as you can see, the Mega Torch, which prevents mobs from spawning in a huge radius. I think it's like this big of an area. It encompasses the whole base, so it's a big amount. It's really nice. I don't have to use much. I got these uh, spruce containers here. You can see, I got some trap doors for loading, uh, as the ship would have. As you can see, I can also just, like interact with most of the chests down there from these, which comes in handy a lot, so I don't have to go all the way down there. Uh, as you can see, the masts themselves, uh, they were only like one stub little things here before, so I extended them and I built some sails on those two. Ran out of wool there, but that that's another matter. Uh, and as you can see, I have cocoa beans growing on a couple of jungle tree logs that I put into the mass, so that's why they look different there. I thought that was kind of cool to do. Right here we have a furniture making thing, which if we put in like logs or something, it'll show us what we can make. And speaking of, here's your here's my cabin. We have a spruce wardrobe, which is just like a double chest. We have a spruce cabinet, which is just a normal chest. Have this bedside table, which is a normal chest, and of course my bed, and a wastebasket, which serves no purpose other than decoration. So, I got a Nice little amount of stuff here, which is kind of cool. Otherwise, it was just going to be the bed. Moving down to the storage and tinkering area. We have a bunch of chests that are just nothing. I have a lectern here for the future. Um, we have, you know, all the miscellaneous stuff. I've got my food here. Actually, speaking of, give me this hay bale and I'll put it into here. There we go. As you can see, I've grown a, a number of things so far. I cooked all the meat that we had. Uh, over here we have my tools and uh, items that I use. So we got like a boat, for example, which we'll take right now. We've got a couple of buried treasure maps. And I'll get to the second one that you guys did not see me pick up in a moment. Uh, but we also have the bottles of enchanting, our deep dive potions, our arrows, our bow, all that good jazz. And speaking of, I'm going to take this bow and arrows out. There we go. Um... I have a bunch of pickaxes just for uh, mining purposes that I was using it for. Look at our normal swords. As you can see, not much changed. I made a couple of trading posts, but they can't be used unless you're in a village. So, still waiting on that. We also got the scaffolding here, some extra torches that I made. All that good jazz. Now we have our uh, metals or rare materials chest, which can come gold, iron, copper, emeralds, and diamonds. And as you can see, our diamond amount went up because I've been mining and the stones have been procking diamonds. Uh, not complaining. <clears throat> also, that's why I have diamond tools down here. I got tired of making things every once in a while. So we got a bunch of wood, of course. Um, we got our plant chest, which has plants, saplings, that kind of stuff in it. Just kind of junk that I'm probably not going to use often. We have our block chest, which is granite, gravel, cobblestone, yada yada. Here we have a uh, chest that's specifically for sand and like softer materials like dirt and netherrack, and we also have some obsidian. And then here I have stuff that's to be forged. We've got our forges here, our furnaces, whatever. And that's just an empty chest right now. Also, I'm gonna put my armor on. Perfect, perfect. And actually, let me go grab these pickaxes. Show you what I learned. That's the boat. I quite like it. Also, these shipping containers were also made with the, uh, I think it's the furnish mod with this thing. So, pretty cool. Here we have one mod that I added. So I was thinking, if we're going to go journey around, it'd be nice to have an easy way to get back to the base. So we have the waypoint mod. Um, apparently the latest version crashes when I use it, if you just right click on it. I don't know if it's a conflict with another mod or what. Couldn't figure it out, so I got the second latest version, and it works. I made a nice little uh, hut here out of the, the magical wood for it. 
here we have our sea turtle pen. I just blocked off because there were sea turtles loitering here. So they have a nice little beach. They got some you know, grass over there. They got water to play in, so that's all nice. This area is just a huge porch field for future like, additions and stuff like that. I made a bridge because I got tired of walking all the way around or falling in the water. And of course we have our sugarcane farm, which is nice and big, using a, a new method, as you can see. Here it goes. Every two, then you skip one, go every two again. This one is a very nice building method for sugarcane because you only have like one pot that's missing between all of these. That's pretty cool. Next up, our enchanting thing. Now, as you can see, I started to run out of like the same kind of wood. I was like, how can I make this look cool, but like also use the materials that I got. And so I used the, the magic wood around the bottom because using too much blue uh, kind of hurts the eyes, you know. So I used some jungle wood for accents. And as you can see, it's up there in hack slabs. I used the rest of my dark wood that I had here for like the walls and some of the roof. And I got my enchantment table, got my books. The one thing that I want is an arcane infuser. And there's an arcane infuser. And then there's a... I guess an ancient infuser, or a, an advanced one on that. The first one requires amethysts and crying obsidian, which uh, we can get crying obsidian fairly easy just from the portals around, but the amethyst is going to be the pain. Also required an enchanting table. Then there's the advanced enchanting table, which uh, the normal one allows you to choose your enchantments, and then the advanced one allows you to choose them and modify and remove existing ones. So, pretty poggers. You can also repair with levels. That's cool. Uh, yeah, then we have netherite here that's necessary, and also the previous level of the enchanting. So, also more crying obsidian. That's going to be a little bit. We need to find amethyst somewhere. Um, so, I found out where it comes up at, and we'll just have to go around and try to find some, you know. Um, over here, we have our, like I said, lemon and farm, stuff like that. As you can see, I have a these little blocky things here. Because uh, the road makes you go faster if you're on it by, well, if we look at it, road, or I guess it's path, ain't it? So speed multiplier is 1.35. So when you're on the path, you move a little bit faster, as you can probably see when we're doing stuff. Over here, <clears throat> I have nice square farms. Apparently, the water saturation goes out to the corners um, of a 4x4. Four or not four by four, a, uh, I guess it would be four plus four is eight for a nine by nine block. Apparently it goes out of the corners. I did not know that. Then we got uh, the beetroots, the potatoes, carrots, and the wheat here, as you can see. But uh, as you can see, the road is quite fast. As I go off through here, you can see my speed slow down a bit. Here we have our, our lovely pigs, our lovely chickens, and our lovely cows and sheep because I uh, lured cows and sheep in at the same time and I did not want to bother with separating them. So that's why they live together. Over here we have our multi-wood stable with our horses, which I have not yet to tame, actually. I made some piles of wheat here and then I had another wheat right there, but they uh, can actually get out from the pen if I do that because they can jump over it. So I had to take that one away from them. As you can see, it's a nice little thing. I want with like an alternating pattern here just to make it look a little different. And then we have a lovely forest full of trees. So a nice variety here. Finish this path finally. And uh, I just have a nice little path cut through everything so I can easily move around at a faster speed. I decided to raise it up one because some trees like the uh, like this, for example, the oak will do this, which makes it hard to get the, the bottom. And also remember where you have the saplings planted, you know? So, we have the jungle trees, the mahogany trees, the oak trees, the magic trees, the birch trees. And uh, that's all I have right now. Couldn't find any spruce, and I have some acacia that I found recently that I have yet to plant. Also, these, are, these appear to be too close. I'm going to remove them. 
Apparently they won't grow that close to uh, things there. As you can see, here's where I've been finding some dirt. I figure I can use this as a, a mine at some point, you know? Then, let's talk about this thing. This was the first thing I actually built. And I've always wanted one of these, because they're cool. But you can see it's a farm, but it's a multi-leveled farm. So we got wheat, we got beetroots, we got carrots, and we've got uh, potatoes, and then another thing, which is a smaller thing of wheat. As you see, there's water up here. Now, I need slime for this to work properly, because I have three pistons down here, and the pistons will retract these blocks when I hit a button, which I've not set up yet. And what will happen is the water will cascade down, getting rid of all the plants, washing all the material down, until it hits this here. And my plan is to take hoppers here, have it all feed into a chest at the bottom. That way all I have to do is flip a switch, let the water cascade down, pushing all of it into hoppers, turn the water off, make everything, replant everything, and then it's, it's good to go. I don't have to worry about hitting the uh, individual plants, you know, that just kind of but as you can see, I've lit some stuff up here. And yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, one more thing I want to say before we go into there. Um, one thing I noticed is that there's buried treasure under the pirate ship. Yeah, in this corner, like right around here, I found a treasure chest that was filled with not only another buried map, this one, but also a bunch of diamonds, and emeralds, gold, and iron. I uh, did not know that there was buried treasure on shipwrecks. So I don't know if that's a thing that exists on all of them, or if it just happened to be this one that was like washed aboard or, or what. But if we do find another one that is, you know, above air, I want to check to see if that's a thing that exists or not. So let's look at this buried treasure map, actually. Um, oh, wait, is this just a map? It's a buried treasure map, though, did it not? Well, yeet. I don't want that. That's right, so this buried treasure map, then. What? Wait. No way. It's actually that close? Okay, let's go find this buried treasure first. It looks like it's a right next to my sugar cane farm, too. That is surprising. As you can see, it's getting night out. And uh, as you can see, the mobs have started spawning here, here, and over on here, so the Magnet Torch is like a, a nice radius here. So we don't really worry about getting attacked at our base, which is nice. At some point, I would like to make a Magnet Torch for uh, the villages as well. Oh, there it is. You, you cannot make this stuff up. How in the hell did we find a buried treasure map that points us to where our base already was? That's just amazing. Like, I never thought I would see that happen. I actually made it a point to not look at the buried treasure map until we uh, started streaming again because I didn't want to like spoil myself where it was at. But that's just amazing to see it like right there. That's so cool. I was expecting like, okay, we're gonna go on a journey and we're going to you know, find all this stuff. It's gonna be a huge thing. But in reality, it was just stones throw away. Found some extra salmon. There's the cocoa beans. Um, what about this? The heart of the sea. I guess I'll put it in the rare item chest. No reason not to. All right, so with all that sorted, let's take a quick sleep so we can pass the day by. All right, also, this room was a pain to build because for some reason, the right side of the boat was like back here. The right side was like 
not as wide or something. Even though out here, everything looks perfectly like symmetrical and wide, but back here, when the thing generated, apparently it like picked in or something. I, I don't, I don't know. So I had to like make the outside look kind of awkward back there. Regardless, it finally made it, so we're cool. Anyway, let's go down here and I'll show you uh, what I learned with the uh, Ultramine. I went down here and as you can see, I have these nice little things. So do you think I one by one mined this? No, I found out what if we hold shift and scroll through this, I found out what mining tunnel did. Hmm, yes. And so let's actually go out to the other area here that I was like, I'll build a mine over here since I have a pathway going to it. And I can show you guys exactly what it does. So if you look straight at a thing, it doesn't really do much, right? Um, you can kind of see, like, it says mining three blocks, but, like, what? No, so let's go ahead and just use it. So it didn't really do anything that we can see. Let's do it again. And still, still nothing really happened. Keep going. But as you can see, it's kind of going down at an angle. Kind of. But the thing is, it, it, they won't mine through different materials. So if there's dirt or gravel or it's copper in the way, the ultra miner is not going to mine through that with the tunnel miner option. So if we go here now, that's five blocks, that's 23 blocks down there. We have four blocks there, five blocks there, four blocks there, and 23 blocks there. So we have a nice little opening down this way. So this is just kind of a nice way to make a tunnel downward feel. Um, escape tunnel is similar, except it goes up. As you can see, the, the highlight going up further, which is nice as well. Shapeless will just mine everything in like a radius, like shapelessly, I guess. Um, which is really nice for getting the core, but not so nice for making tunnels as well. Additionally, we have small tunnel, which just goes in a straight line. We don't want to do that right now. Let's continue mining downward. Okay. This is what I used up all these uh, cobblestone shovels for. Or not cobblestone shovels, cobblestone <clears throat> axes, pickaxes. I was mining down tunnels and stuff to get a bunch of cobble and figure stuff out. Also, how I was getting some of those emeralds, diamonds, and stuff that we didn't have previously. Also, it really sucks because when the uh, pickaxe breaks, it leaves like the thing partially dug, which is not that great. But as you can see, we're already down to like deep slate level, more or less here. Oh, <laughs> no, that's not deep slate. That's a uh... That it's basalt. Oh. Well, we found our amethyst. That's perfect. Um, let me just switch to shapeless and then go. Go ahead and expose that geode. Nice. I'm gonna mine in here a little bit with this coal. Perfect. Let us light this up a little, and I will get the calisite I just got, and let's just make our way, oops, that one, make our way down a little bit safely. Don't want to hurt myself too much. Okay, we're at the amethyst. This is my first time actually seeing one, like, in the, uh, God, in Minecraft, like, personally. Like, I've seen them, like, on other streamers and stuff like that, but, like, I've never seen one myself. So if I just hit this, it, like, give it to me, right? Yeah, and they'll, they'll, they'll regrow here, right? That's what they do. They regrow on these little, uh, 
things. We actually have enough for my purposes. I think, uh, look at amethysts. They don't really have much of a purpose other than making blocks and the tinted glass, right? And the spyglass, I guess. But who really wants to make spyglasses? You. Cool. Well, I got what I came for. Very cool. I'm going to uh, go back up now. Yeah, as you can see, that's kind of what the, uh, the pickaxes do. Um, I guess I can show you the other. If we go to small tunnel, it also has the problem of it only going through the same material. Now you can see the, the blocks change to like three seven. Also, it digs straight on the block face you're facing. So if I do this, it'll go in a line there. Same with that one. If I take this one and go like in a line here, well, that won't work. Here, as you can see, it uh, takes a straight line that way. And it'll try to go up to 64 blocks, um, either until the pickaxe breaks or until it hits a different thing. And that's what that one does. And then we have the small square one. If we come into like an area that has mostly this material, it will dig a nine by nine pathway. Or not a nine by nine, a three by three say just straight it doesn't do it deeply it just does it one little square at a time which is very nice if you're digging like tunnels and stuff like that very very cool um i think that's all of the we got a small tunnel shapeless escape tunnel mining tunnel and a small square so that's all of the uh different ways to mine here as you I just wanted to use up the rest of that uh, thing. I'm also going to get rid of this calcite because it had no use. Same with the smooth basalt. I'm just going to get rid of that. And uh, the granite and the diorite and the andesite. I'm going to pitch as well. Don't really need those. All right. So now we can leave here. I, I was seriously not expecting to find a geode here. Oh my god. Aren't we just lucky? Like, I had open the Minecraft wiki on amethysts, or on geos, I should say, to figure out where they would spawn, like at what level. And I was like, okay, we'll go mining um, today, and we'll find an amethyst geode, and then we'll build our enchanting table thing. And uh, that was going to be the plan, except... That uh, isn't necessary because we just lucked out and got one. I was expecting that to take like an hour or something. But uh, rather not. So I need writing crying city and a book. Do I have a book? No, but I can make one. That's lucky. Crying obsidian will be uh, main. Okay. So let's get rid of our cobblestone, gravel, get rid of our materials. Actually, give me back the copper that I've not yet processed. Get rid of those. Toss these into there. Toss these into there. Okay. And I'm going to grab a couple more torches from there. Perfect. And we're good. All right. So, look at the map. And uh, we have this um, nether portal over there. So let's go take a look at that. I know I, I already went there offline to get obsidian for the enchantment table. But I think there was crying obsidian that I didn't get. Because I was like, crying obsidian is no use. Why would I get it? But I'm an idiot. So I should have got it. And we could have made an infusing table without having to do this. So anyway, let me discuss the plan for today, everyone. Um, coming at night, so we should hurry. So the plan for today is I want to go around and explore a little bit more. Ideally, what I want to find is one of those uh, circles we did on Hardcore, where uh, we had to, like, 
get iron golem parts and like those mementos in order to get a suit of that really cool um oops back and shapeless please there we go fine for that to get through it quicker but the uh, the mementos and with the mementos we were able to you know uh, get that resistance and what was it absorption armor something i forget exactly what it was but it was real good armor uh it was better than i think the base diamond so without any enchantments it was already better than base diamond armor so i would like to find those and as you can see the monsters are still spawning near me which is not ideal as you can see i went this way once because i've already like done the the ultra mile of the leaves to get rid of them all right, we're nearing the river here. And our another portal is right there. Well, our another portal frame, or should I say former frame, since I find it. Okay. Also, I need to make a shield still. That's a thing, but not too big of a problem. Okay. The problem here... Is that there only appears to be one crying obsidian? There we go. Okay. Well, shoot. Um. That is a problem. Also, um, I went ahead and revealed a little more of the map. Uh, like that. I went down specifically here. To steal this village's waystone because the waystones won't generate in chunks I've already lowered since I added the mod later. So I just went around to find a village, then I went around to uh, uh, kind of get our surroundings figured out, looking for stuff. I explored this jungle temple, there was literally nothing in there literally nothing. Like, sure, it had stuff, right? But did I do that online or offline? I forget, actually. I think I did it offline, but there was nothing in there. Um, so I think this is another nether portal. We can check that out. Then we can go to this village today. And uh, this looks like something because there's like glowy bits there, right? Another village or something here. So today, like I was saying before I uh, distracted myself and such, I think our goal is going to be to find enough crying obsidian to make the infusion table, first of all. Uh, I'm going to keep calling it an infusion table. I don't care at this point. Uh, after that, we also want to attempt to find some of those other, like, dungeony places that we had seen before. And I think the problem that we're encountering right now is that biomes of plenty does not generate those structures. So when we run into a biomes of plenty biome, it's not going to have any of those neat structures, like the uh, the ruins or stuff like that, which is going to be unfortunate. So we'll have to find normal Minecraft biomes, which kind of makes biomes of plenty uh, bad for that. Spider was nice enough to give me a little push over. How kind of them. I gotta say, being able to do this is just so helpful. For like clearing paths through the jungle. But I don't have to use like a tool or anything, just flip it around. You notice how like when I'm running through here, the, the skeletons can't hit me. But like on hardcore, the skeletons were like pinpoint accurate. Kind of upsets me to be honest. Oh. With my boat, come on. Yeah. Let's get back to safety. I guess on hardcore, their AI is a like better aim or something. I don't know. <sighs> All right. Meow. Done. Got our boat. 
Unfortunately, we can't actually use our uh, enchanting table, so I can't enchant these diamond tools. But that's okay. I will instead just store the stuff here. I think I'm going to put it into the uh, rare materials chest for right now. Simply because it is important to have, right? Okay. So we've done that. I think I will take out my wheat. And I'm going to make some more bread just to be uh, on the safe side here. So we don't run out of food on our journey. Excellent. All right. Got bread, got the torches, got our bow, got our tools. Shield, right, shield. Okay. Not that it matters since we're playing on a, just a normal survival server, but server, you know what I meant. Uh, but it does help us to not die, especially since if we die, we keep our stuff anyway. So it might even be a cool trick to like kill ourselves on purpose to respawn back here so we don't have to run all the way back, you know? But I'm going to try to do that as little as possible because it is kind of a cheap tactic to use. Although we would lose experience, so that's also why I would not do that. All right, so we decided we were going to go over here to this nether portal. There's also one here, actually. So let's go down here, and we'll use the coastline to go to here, and then to go to that village, and then to go to that, and then that village. So that'll be the plan for right now. And I know, like, why am I going to all these villages? Like, there's nothing, no reason to do that. Well... Yeah, you're right. Also, question. When we were looking at the map yesterday, did we not have this area explored? Or did I just not see this monument here? Because I feel like we went here, so I should have had this in range of the map. But I, I totally missed it, I guess. I never saw it until I like started exploring on my, by myself uh, yesterday. Weird. But anyway, let's go. Get some crying obsidian. So I only need two more, right? Well, actually, thinking for the future, I need six. So five more. Yes, yes. All right. Also, I haven't done anything with the villages yet. I just, uh, didn't feel the need to do anything with them quite yet, since I don't have an enchanting table or anything. Breeding them to have books would just be pointless. Well, not really even breeding them, because I have, like, what, like, five guys over there at that one village who don't have jobs? So it doesn't really matter if I do that or not. All right, we're nearing the first portal. I don't recall if I looted this one previously or not. Oh. It looks like I have not. I'm going to take that mending one. Or this fortune 2 one. Golden carrots, this flint. I don't care about thorns or bane of arthropods. I'm not sure if I... Like if... Um, I can take the enchantments from tools and then use them again. Like what the uh, advanced infuser tells us. Or if it is just one of those one of those things where I just remove them. So was there no crying obsidian here, huh? I don't think it's like anywhere else other than like on the frame or something, right? I honestly don't want to work deal with digging in any further, so let's just continue on to the next one. The coast here a bit. You know. And we'll get out here. Okay. Alright. Moving on up. Get some cows. I'll go ahead and kill these guys. Why didn't he die in one hit? There we go. Alright, excellent. Oh, the nether portal's up there, huh? 
Well, we got a little bit of climbing to do in our future then. Ooh, what? This is a neat little thing here. What are we at? Y equals 63-ish. Oh my god, this is like really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and actually mine this uh, coal here. You never have too much coal right now. It won't work in that distance. Fortunate. What about here? Can I use this here? Not really. This is a nice cave, but I'm not really seeing anything I want to deal with in here. So let's just continue on. All right. So. The plan is we're going to explore around a little bit, looking for those things, right? Finding some cool biomes. And then what we can do after that is no matter how far away we get, we can use a village waypoint or wherever. As long as there's a waypoint there, we can travel back to our home base. It'll come in handy for us, but really. Looks well, weird over there, like it's like a wooden like pier almost. Strange. That's just terracotta pillars, ain't it? Strange. It definitely doesn't look man-made on the map there. Weird. I keep seeing things that are like piquing my interest over there, and it's like, ooh. All right, so for here, let's go ahead and make a mine escape tunnel. That way we can have a nice uh, pathway up. It comes in such handy here. Don't have to like worry about mining each little block. Vein mine is just so good. I love vein mine type. I almost ran right off that edge. Not that it would matter since. Uh, or on hardcore, not anymore. Since we're not on hardcore, but I don't want to you know, get hurt unless I have to. Okay, here we go. We got a crying obsidian. We got more of this. Ooh, Death Strider too. I'll take that. A clock. Ugh. All right, still only one. Crying Obsidian. Unfortunate. Can I make Crying Obsidian? Is it possible to make it? No. I can only use it to make a respawn anchor for the uh, things there, huh? I thought there was a way to make it, but apparently not. Ooh, we got some gold here. Ow! Trick me. Okay, well, that was a bust. Um, we have something here. Some sort of structure, it looks like. We also have a structure over here. I know we said we were going to go north to investigate those, but what if we go south? That'd be better than crossing a bunch of tree-infested lands, wouldn't it? I think it would be. Let's hit up this village, because the only thing that was north is like a place that might be a weird structure, and then a village. So, is it really worth it? Go all the way north, a thousand meters, just to go to a village, and not maybe have that interesting place? Oh. You know what? Fuck uh, this. This is why you carry water with you, folks. You can just go down cliffs very easily. I could have picked that water up, but I figured I didn't want to. I just get more water down here. And we made a nice little uh, waterfall as well, so that's cool. 
Hello, villagers. How are all of you doing? You guys got any interesting structures here, or are you all just losers? Maybe you're all just losers. Actually, is this a cleric building? No. I was going to take a uh, <clears throat> blaze thing if it was, but actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take I could use a smoker to make uh, food quicker. Got any other interesting structures over here, y'all? You got a, uh... Well, you know, I might as well steal a lectern while I'm here, you know? Why not? And their books. Ooh, I can get their books so I can make them do, uh, book shelves. This is house? No. I don't take these apples, though. Not that I have a huge use for apples, but... Apples turn into golden apples, so... Pog. Okay, so here is the lectern. Oh, it's one of the small ones. It only has four bookshelves. Is there more up top? There's not. That's a cry and shame. What time is it, my clock? It's getting close tonight. Is it? Or is it noon? No, it's getting close tonight. Y'all get anything else of value up in here? Hmm? More apples, I'll take those. What is this guy? Oh. He's a librarian who just didn't convert back. What about you? You're a butcher. Um, actually, I don't know what butchers are made with. Isn't it the, the smoker? Hmm. Whatever. Well, I will take a bed. Because I don't want to deal with this if it's uh, night time. So we'll just pass by the night with a bed. Okay. Let's check out this like stone square structure we saw previously. Also, I did not see a waystone in that village. Well, that maybe because it was already pre-generated. Like I said, I think we had that one on the map. But everything else past this point, we should see a uh, waypoint at. Any structures? Maybe it was just a hole in the ground. Bizarre. Across this ocean or lake. Hello. All right. That. Put that down. And we'll take a rest. Sure, it's going to mess up our spawn point, but that is just fine and dandy. We're not going to die, right? Mild. Huh. This really was just a hole in the ground. Huh. What an interesting hole in the ground, though, right? Okay. What else we got in this area? Anything I want to look at right here? Oh, there's another oasis there. I'm not going to deal with that, though. I'm tired of looking at oasises. Oh, here we go. A new village. All right, let's head to the Pillager Tower over here. And I'm going to be careful not to kill one with the banner. I'll kill everyone else except for the one with the banner. That shall be my plan. Ooh, fancy. <clears throat> A trap there, damn. Okay. Although, when push comes to shove, who knows if I'll actually be able to avoid killing the banner guy, you know? Okay, we're nearing it. Oh, 
Come at me. Ow. Ow. Okay. I can hear y'all. Got a crossbow out of that. Not that crossbows are good or anything, though. I'd rather have a bow, to be honest. Alright, listen here, you little shit. I was giving them so many free hits there. Oh, hey. Yeah, you're the one I don't want to fight. I got blocks. A couple, it looks like. Hold on, man. I'm planning here. Come on, man. Don't just let yourself be pushed around by your own arrows. Come on, man. Come on. I think it's time for you to get back. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, listen here, dude. Okay. We are the winners. With a half a heart left. Ow. I'm just gonna hold my shield here. Until I regenerate hearts. God, hurt. Okay. All right, we have a laze. Ominous sign. Locate an illager structure. Hello there, my little alays. Hmm? Oh, I'm still in escape tunnel. Okay, there we go. Hello, buddies. What do I do with these guys again? Like, do I just like right click them? No, on the back. Thank you. I don't know how to like tame them. Let me look it up real quick. Minecraft. Alley? I don't. Alley is a small wisp, but clears into a thing. How do I tame it? Um. Ally wanders around the player, gives them an item, their use key. The LA starts following the player. Oh, so I just gotta give them something and then they'll start following me? Is that it? Okay. Um. Hey. Hey, LA, you want this? You want the stick? Want the stick? Come on, come on, get the stick. There you go. Now follow me. Where'd the other one go? I'll give it a uh, block of sand. Alle, 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 alle. Where'd your brother go, huh? Ah, sheep! I don't know why I reacted like that. Being honest. Crap. I have my off hand. I thought I had the axe in my main hand, but I did not. There we go. Okay, he's dead. There's your. Oh, that's my one guy. Okay. Well, you there. Where's the other Lego? Man, I cannot believe the LA got put in the game and not the Copper Golem. Like, that just sucks. The Copper Golem would have been so much better. It's like when... Minecraft community is stupid. It's like when they voted in for the... Uh, glow Squid, which the only thing he does different than the normal squid is he has a texture that makes him look like he glows. He doesn't even really glow, like, actually, which is just hilarious.
And then we have the LA who pick up items for you, but I can pick up items, you know? But with the golem, it could interact with redstone stuff. How did you get out? Bye. They have treasure chest up here, don't they? Woohoo! They almost hit me. Gotta be quicker than that. I'm weak, baby. What you got up here? Ooh, I'll take all of it. Thank you. Because I don't want that, so give me that instead. Get rid of that bad crossbow in this good one. <laughs> I can survive that fall, can't I? Do I want to try and risk it? Not really. Go ahead, bud. Peace! Not this way, I want to go now this way. Boop, boop, boop. Well, I don't know where that other LA went, but... I don't care to find out. I'm leaving. Peace. I just don't want to cause the uh, villagers at my base or another base to form a raid. Because the raid is what killed us last time during Hardcore. Not that it matters if I die here, but I mean, it kind of does because I don't want to waste my life. Lose stuff, you know. All right. Have anything good in here? That's a desert village, so the answer is of course not. Okay, but we do have a waystone. Did I crash? What? Why did I crash? Ah. Maybe it's because I didn't do it with an open hand? That's not the... Oh, that wouldn't be the reason why. I right-clicked the one in my own place to set it as home and to make sure it works. So why is it happening now? Excuse me, I have to wait for it to load again. Okay, we'll try with an empty hand, see how that goes. But I don't know why it would be crashing. Like I said, it worked fine before I uh, started streaming. Give me like a string error or something. Hmm. Okay, we're back. It could be because the LA is following me, could it? Try it again. It worked. I guess it was because I had sand in my hand this time. Oh, it takes experience to travel? That is just unfortunate, ain't it? Got all this stuff. I don't want to drop it off. Well, whatever. Oh, you there. Most from bookshelves, huh? Well, maybe I'll not cut our journey short here yet. I didn't want to set my respawn point. Okay. Well, let's see. I do not need these carrots, or the seed, or the wheat, or the sand. Um, honestly, I don't even need these fences, to be honest. Um, does flint have any cool uses? A warp plate? I don't even know what that does. Is it like a stone, but I don't know. Yet yeah, it's not used for anything important, so let's drop it. Uh, what was this book? Sharpness. Ooh, ooh la la.
Hey, librarian, where's your uh, library at? I want to steal the lectern and books. Oh, this is a, this is a place, ain't it? Ooh, there we go. Bam. Brewing stand. Now I don't have to go to the nether to get one. Or to find blazes, anyway. At least yet. At least yet. Oh, my bread. Nice. Thank you. What about this house? Got a tower and a bed. It must be in the uh, the northern part here. Whoop. 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 Oh, God. Librarian, where is your home? There it is. Yep. Okay. That village is dangerous. What do we got here? Ha 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 ha. I want this. Got it. It's an interesting house as well. A worthless house, but interesting. What about this one? Got a bed. I am hereby commandeering your bed. Thank you. Okay. And then we have this one here. Whatever. This one here, which is whatever. Okay. All right, so I know I saw another pillager tower over here as well. And then a huge hole in the ground, of course. That works. Okay. Looking at the map, we have uh, nothing really around us, huh? Oh, there we go. Another nether portal. I want to at least get all the crying obsidian we need for one go. And then not have to worry about coming back out right away, you know. Question is, do I want to go to that pillager tower? Was there even anything good at the other pillager tower? We had a lays, but again, I don't really care about the lays. And speaking of, gone. It's dead. I don't know. Killed itself. Bunnies. Yep. Well, Alays are worthless, huh? Like, you couldn't even keep up with me. So. Yeah. Imagine voting for that thing and having it put in the game. You could have done so much with a copper golem. Could have made it like open doors for you from like the inside of a secret base and stuff. You would have had a use for copper. You could have made a cute little pet out of it. I'm so disappointed. Also, can LAs go through walls? If so, why did it, they get trapped in that fence? Can they not go through dark wood or something? I don't know how LAs work. Because I hate them. Is that another pillager tower or just the same one? Same one, it looks like. There's something over here, though. And over here, same thing. Really hard to tell desert temples here. Is this another village? It looks like it. I think. I think it is. Mark that. Heck of it. Okay, well, let's continue heading to this nether portal. We got another block of crying obsidian, so that's three.
we got here? Nuggies and the Fortune 2 Axe and the Golden Apple. That, okay. Next up, Crag Obsidian. Once we uh, drop it down. Got it. All right, excellent. Mission accomplished. We uh, we can go home now. So let's go. Go south, I guess. We'll go explore whatever this marker is over there, and then we can head to that village down there and get home. If it has a waypoint, I think all villages have waypoints. So. Is that a well over there, too? Huh. Look, go horn. Oh, I don't have to hold it down, I can just click it. That's cool. Careful, bunny. Do the goat horns do anything other than make noise? I was gonna just collect them. Oh, it's a copper area. Hmm. I wonder, if I use shapeless, okay. Last time I was here was a villager nearby, wasn't there? Hmm. Make sure there's nothing under here. If there's not. All right, well, don't really have a use for a bunch of copper, to be completely honest. Ooh, there's another village over there. You know what? Rather than go to that village, which is like a little bit of a backtrack, let's go to this village. That is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, Thinking if I want to mine all this copper, but I don't think I do. Okay, moving on. If I mine the copper, I'd have to get rid of something, but nothing I really want to get rid of. I'm sure I could get rid of the boat or the bed if I needed to, but pass for now. Ow. All right. Whoa! Mm, that was close. If God was sprinting, I would have fell right in that hole and probably died. Wouldn't be too bad since I have the uh, waypoint in that closer village as well. So I can just get back here again if I wanted to, but oh boy, I would have lost 30 levels of experience 31 almost to be honest. So that would have really sucked. Ooh, there was another nether portal frame here? I didn't even see it, though. I guess because the trees are in the way. Well. I just want the crying obsidians. I'll take that. Thank you. All right. Hello, village. There's a spider house. Why are there cobwebs around it? That's weird. Oh, this is an abandoned village. I see, I see. 
The first time I've seen one. Hey, bud. Don't mind me. I'm just going to look at your chest. Yeah, have fun. What if there's a waystone in this one? This is not an actual village. Modern trader. Hmm. How useful. You a wandering trader, what you got on you, mate? What you got on you, mate? Don't run away from me. Um, you have absolutely nothing. What was that? Coral. How did you get coral, my dude? It dies as soon as you, you know, try to take it. We got up here. Another abandoned bed. Yep. Okay. Well, we might not find a waystone here. Huh. I don't see any more structures. Uh oh. <laughs> well, shoot. So we got another another portal down here. We got a uh, flowery circle thing over here. Another thing here. La la. I think we're gonna go that way. Okay, there's there's nothing else down this side, so there's no way for us to have a portal down here, huh? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We came all this way for the potential of going back home. But I did see something I've never seen before, which is an abandoned village. So I think it came out on top on that transaction. Of running all the way over here. Pretty cool. Okay, let us go ahead and spill some water here. We can get down this huge cliff. I can refill up a little oasis down there before moving on. Or, I don't have to fill up the oasis, I can just wait until I'm at the, uh, the ocean. Or river, I guess. Oop, uh, ow. My leg. Interesting. Okay. Let me take my boat. Go ahead and sail across here. Is that like structure in the cliff? There it is. That's cool. Getting onto it's going to be a pain, but that's cool. I think I shall abandon my boat. Do I have an extra inventory space? No. Hello, villagers. No good. Do they have any beds here? I forget. Oop. Nice. Oop. Oh, they got chests up here, though. Ooh, a sharpness sword and some ferns. Ooh, whatever. Bedtime. In fact, I might actually leave this bed here, too, just so I have another inventory slot open. I'll take these, uh, these arrows. Knock it up there? I think I can, huh? Yeah. Should be able to open this one, though, right? If I can get a good running jump. What do you want, sir? You would give me two chests for a bed? Really? There we go. Made it that time. 
Uh, we have some more emeralds here. A bunch of gunpowder that I don't really need. I never use gunpowder. Does gunpowder have a use other than TNT still? Aww. Oh, right. Those and those, but meh. Also for uh, black potions, so that's a thing. Is there anything else on like a higher tier or... Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, well... Go down. Ow. Right, the campfire's hurt, I forgot. I was thinking that there was a chest on the lower level as well. Somewhere. Was I mistaken? Hello, Iron Golem Frando. Ow. Ooh, we got a beehive over there too. That's cool. And we got a rail tower over there. Ooh. I need a village. Like the one time I need a village, there's none. Okay, well, let's leave this place. We will head towards our other objective right there. See what sort of structure that is. Yeah. Not that I have the free inventory space, but still. Maybe I should have just destroyed that waste stone and took it with me. Ta-da. What do we got here? Coming in! This is a perfect opportunity to use Ultramine to get rid of all these leaves. What do we got here? Fortune and Punch, huh? I'll take that. Bunch of Amethysts, a Slowness Potion. I don't know why you would even want that. Where are the raw beef and the stick that I have there for some reason? I wonder if there's a uh, stuff on top of the leaves. Could be, I guess. We'll find out. I can jump up there. Eat up there real quick. Oh, there's a chest up there. Okay. So... Do I have anything that I can use to build up with? Not really. I don't know if I could if I wanted to. Put something down real quick. You know what? I don't need a smoker right now. I'm not going to use a crossbow. Stone cutter I don't need. I don't really need leather either, to be honest. Or a clock. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well just use this one bottle enchanting I got. No. Didn't do much, but you know, it's a thing. Take that out first. Next. Turn this all into planks. And then I can use this up to here. Ooh, we got glowstone, I'll take that. Regeneration. Fortune and Thorns. Does Rabbitite have a use? I'm not going to make leather from it, but that's it, huh? Okay. Making sure. Nothing else up here, huh? Yep, nothing else. Okay. Well... Good to know that if we see one of these again, there will be just at the top. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. All right. Get rid of that, that, that.
Honestly, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get, 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 get rid of the nuggets. I don't need those. Okay. Next. Ooh, we have a village down there. So if I go around there, I can hit up this village and then drop stuff off, come back, and deal with the railway thing. Okay. Let's go to the beehive next. As I found out, I can use the honeycombs for stuff. I believe it was not just that, not that. I can make candles, which I can use to mm -mm, light the place that's cooler than torches. So I can get like a, a bedside, uh, what you say. There's bees inside. Hey, bees. How do I get a honeycomb? Doesn't really tell me how I get a honeycomb. Room lights. Is that a beehive? Hmm. I can also get the honey blocks, which are cool. Do anything with the honey blocks? Turn it into a honey bottle, which can then turn into sugar? A honey block. Um, that's it, huh? I turn it into honey, which I can eat as food. Okay. Oh, there's treasure chest here. <gasps> Honeycombs! There we go, just what I wanted. Honey bottles, which actually stack, which is cool. Checkpoint. Find the player head and try to dungeon chest. I don't know why that matters. Ooh, a bee nest? I, I don't even have to use the uh, thing for that. You know what? I'm going to get rid of these 15 extra arrows. Can you use player heads for anything? No? They're just decoration. Okay, that's... But I figured. God, the sound that the honey makes when you hit it. Just kind of disgusting. Ah, so destroying it actually destroys it. That's unfortunate. Luckily, the bees don't seem to mind me destroying their hive. They're quite chill about it, to be honest. Well. Can I do anything with honey blocks? Or are they just purely decorative? A honeycomb block. Control click. Oh. So I can turn the honeycombs into them, but I can't. Okay, weird. Well then, I'm just going to store these in here. Because they're worthless and I don't need them. I'm just going to continue to destroy the hive. Oh! That was close. Let's not stand on the same kind of structure that we're trying to destroy, shall we? How about that? In fact... Yeah. For that nonsense. Okay. Oops, don't throw the bucket. That's just one... There, okay. So let's hit that, hit that. All right, let's get out of this side. A few others that we can use. Use the honey block to get up here. Out of the way. Out the way, I'm coming in. All right, we got more apples. A bunch more player heads. Okay. 
blah. Hmm, charcoal. I don't want charcoal. So the other places had like chests hidden under. These so I don't hurt myself. The other ones had like chests hidden under honey blocks, right? So I wonder if there's chests hidden under some other things. What is this? Is this also a honey comb or something? Hold up. Is there an empty bottle in this one? It was not. Let me just drink one of these. Why use a honey bottle on? Oh, oh, it's mad. Huh. Not as much. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing down there. Carrots? Well, whatever. Let's check on the other side after we uh, nap. I think the other side's pretty similar to this one though, right? Like a beekeeper area. Knock knock. Hello, it's me. Wool. Golden ingots, huh? And gold ore for some reason. Hello bees, how are you doing? Oh, so you can make a you can make a beehive with honeycomb and wood? Huh. I should look up what I can do with beehives at some point. Maybe I could make a nice little uh hive for bees to live at in my area. Also, I'm carrying coal still, right? Yeah, so let's some of that, shall we? Why is there gold here, by the way? It's just kind of weird. Kind of strange. Okay. Moving on. Quit giving me stuff. There. Back to nature you go. Alright. So. Our plan now was to run across here. Go to the yellow marker first, teleport back home, and then come back. Oh my gods. It's gonna be easier. Something done with this huge valley in my way, huh? Oop. Right, so we'll go around the rail, first of all. Then we will come back to the village. Have a good old time on our hands. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. We're making our way downtown. I would love to find a spruce tree to get some spruce saplings, though. That'd be great. That's like one of the trees I don't have. Closer. Hopefully, this is not another abandoned village. That would suck. I 
can just barely see it in the distance now. Ow. Uh. Oh, it's on the other side of this mountain. Okay. Oh, I don't see cobwebs. I think we are in business. Now, we just gotta hope that they have a waystone. If they don't, we'll have to find another village. Your buddy. Want to play? Play for you. Oh, I could just take your clay and give it to you. Don't mind me, sir. Just mind my business. As you should be. Thank you. Free emeralds, man. I'm not gonna say no to that. Didn't I make my first hardcore playthrough? in a village similar to this construction. I think I did. Actually, sir, um, I would like redstone. So would you just give me some redstone? Thank you. Uh, see it. The waystone. It's there. But, before we use that, I'm just going to keep looking around. A lot of clerics in this village. What is one over here? What's this? Whose home is this? Wow, this huge place, and there's nothing in it. The acacia places really are just wild, aren't they? All right. Fingers crossed we don't crash. It didn't crash. What do you know? What about up here? What you got up here, huh? What you got? What you got in this chest? Holding out on me, huh? Hide your diamonds or emeralds? I mean, blue. Okay. Oh man, I can see them here. All right, anything else that we can see now that we've moved this far over? I don't see anything else on the map. There we go, another nether portal. Everything else looks pretty normal. Yep, okay. So let's go back. Now, drop off our loot. And, oh man, I forgot the... It goes higher the further you are away. Oh, that sucks so much! All right, home we go. Ah, we have arrived. Oh, hello. All right. Store our goodies. Um, do I have a chest for my enchanted books yet? I don't. They will go here. Um, I put my goat horn there, lanterns there too, food chest gets honey, the golden carrots, golden apple, the apple, um, I'm going to put the bee's nest and the honey in here as well, for the sake of things, um, this one I'll put the honey blocks in, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, that goes there, I'm going to keep these so I can make them into bookshelves, Let's see. What's up there? Got three kind of obsidian, so let's take this stuff. Copper in there. Glowstone in there. Ocean in this chest. Where did I put my turn hat? I have a lectern, so there was. There's the other two lecterns. Um, that and that there. 
need to find a place for the brewing stand. Other than that, we can make our enchantment table. Ooh, ooh la la, we got it. Perfect, okay. And now, of course, we need to finish making some bookshelves. Because if I don't, we won't have very many enchantment level things here. Let's get out the magic wood. Boop, boop, done. All right. I think we have enough bookshelves to last us a bit now. Um, let's take our brewing stand, and I'm going to put it... Why would it be nice to put this out? I'll put it on my end table. There we go. Why not? Nap time? Not yet. All right, let's go finish up our enchanting area here. Plop. And then boop, 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 boop. I think if we take this and put it there, what do we got? Okay, so this will tell us what we can put on it. It'll tell us how many levels it takes. Excellent, okay. Let's just finish this place up. Okay. Let's take our shield, first of all. And we can put a breaking on it. And a breaking three. Oops. Breaking three. There we go. Take our diamond pickaxe. Let's get fortune on it, first of all. Unbreaking. Too expensive now. Okay. Efficiency. Well, what do I need to, like, max this out? I need 30. Okay, 30 levels. Gotcha. Let's not use that yet. Um, I could have done it if I didn't enchant this damn shield. But luckily, I have a bunch of bottles of enchanting. I don't think it's going to be enough to give me that 30, though. It was not. That was unfortunate. But, whatever. Whatever. What enchantment books did I have? Where did I put them? This chest, right? Fortune 3, Sharpness, and Fortune and Punch. Okay. Well, I have Fortune 3. I don't have to worry about that one. So... How much would it cost for the rest of it? Oh, that's pretty simple. Okay. You know what? Let's get that. Next up, this one. I get unbreaking three, we're still picking one. Okay. Can't do that yet. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So I got my, my, my good pickaxe, which needs can't upgrade on it as well, though. Portion 3, boop. Sharpness 4. I, I'm hesitant to see if I can level up the enchantments, because it's like, yeah, modifying and removing. So I would need the next tier in order to modify it. So I have to do all of them that I want on the thing. Yeah, so, mm, okay. Uh, they give me these, these. And... Don't think I have enough right now to make an anvil. Uh, I need what one, two, three. I think this is the recipe. <gasps> I can make one. Nice. Oops, give me that. Okay. Well, let's put this anvil right here. Why not? Screw it, it's fine. That and that. I need six. Okay. Well, I think I can get to six. Let's go breed our animals. Actually, first of all, let me take... Where did I put... Let 
Oh, right, I remember where I put it. Never mind. I'm dumb. I'm the big dumb. My ring of growth. I'm going to exchange the ring for the shield. I think. Did this work? I forget. It did not work. Okay. Right. Go this way. I need carrots for the pigs, so let's take those. What I can do, carrots in this offhand, come over here, start planting them. So this ring has a uh, 15 by 15 effect to grow plants faster. We'll see as we are harvesting, the ones behind us will, of course, be growing up by the time we're done here. Very nice, very useful. All it took was a single iron surrounded by bone meal blocks, so I spent a lot of time composting crops in order to get enough bone meal to make into eight bone meal blocks. As you can see, we already got some that are grown up, which is nice, but that's not what we care about right now. Let us go and feed our animals! Here, piggy piggy pigs! Piggy 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 pigs! Piggy piggy pig 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 pigs! Go piggies, yeah, go piggies. Perfect, okay. They've been fed. Now for the chickens, cows, and sheep. Yeah, chickies, I know you're hungry. Come on, here you go. Here you go. There's so many of you, I can't get you all. Here you go. Get enough for now. Jump in here and... Collect all their stuff. Collect all the eggs. I'm just gonna throw them down real quick. Out of the way. Okay. Perfect. All right, now, come here, pigs. Or not pigs, fucking sheep and cows and stuff. You losers. Eat it. Eat the wheat and breed! Now, obviously, we have way more levels than we needed right now, but we did gain a bunch from this, so that, that's, that's fun. Okay. I did not realize that I picked up so many uh, eggs. Run into the eggs if you don't want to get hit. Idiots. There we go. A couple more chickens out of that. Okay. All right. Perfect. Her Pecherino. Daddy O's. Go throw our ring back into here. There we have it. Potato in there. All right. Pickaxe plus fortune equals this nice pickaxe that only needs mending now. So that'll be our next goal. Get mending. So what I would like to do, take our emeralds, take our paper, Take our lecterns and da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, this will work. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, fine. Okay. So I want to get a little bit of leather 
Make a couple of books. So let's go kill a couple cows. Ow. Hello there, cow. You've been chosen as sacrifice, and you as well. Of course, they don't drop anything on you. Okay. If I keep killing, I'm gonna run out of cows. So, I'll do that. Let's get some shears. All the sheep wool, so I have a nice stock of the white wool here. I'm actually surprised that I have not gotten a single non-white sheep. I usually find like a bunch of like ones that aren't necessarily completely white in the wild. And for me to lot lure any of them in here, that is just surprising. Okay, they're all naked. Let's just go this way. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Where's my crafting table? There it is. Boop. All right, so let's make a couple of books before I forget about it. Go. All right, next step, or stop, I guess, is that village over there. Let's get in our boat. I don't have a boat anymore, right. Okay. Flap that. Give me that. Make a nice blue boat, I guess. Okay. We're just gonna take the river up. I don't wanna walk through the jungle and the woods and all that. But lucky for us, we, uh, have this nice little village on the river. That's cool. That's real poggers, I think. All right. As long as there's not anything like this. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. How dare you! I'll have you know I graduated top of my class. The Marines and yada yada yada. However that saying goes. Now, I could use the Ultramine, but I would like deform the landscape further than I want it to, so... We'll just do this for now. Or, huh? Go. All right, should be smooth sailing from here. Literally smooth sailing since we're on a boat. Okay. Not a bad little trip. It would have been real quick if it wasn't for our uh, stupid terrain issues. All right, so let's kill these cows out here. Hopefully get another bit of leather. That'd be cool. I would like that. They really don't like dropping leather, do they? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Yeah! Oops. Yeah, I mean... Wow. Those cows only dropped uh, a little bit, huh? Okay, well, whatever. Let's just make our way into the town. Did I have a jump thing over here? No, but I can make it here. Actually, that's dangerous for my villagers. I can just, like, jump up here normally, I think. That should be enough for me to jump up, but not for them. Ah, get fucked, villager. Still out there, huh? Okay. Pretty up their road a little bit here, shall we? I'll be using it to run from point A to point B. Villagers! Are on the other side of the village, huh? Okay. I thought they died for a second, because that entire side had no one there. It was, uh, kind of concerned.
Okay. Got a cleric over there. Was there anyone who actually had a lectern in this area to begin with? Is it becoming night? It is. Okay. I'm going to kick him out and take his bed. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Let me just fix up the road because I'm going to be annoyed by it if I don't. to be a lectern boy huh come on come get it who wants it what you got you got nothing so uh try this one up what you guys got you got a frost walker that's whatever you got nothing as well can get rid of all of them okay it's again who wants one you got looting one not bad but not great you got nothing how about you would you like to come forth and become a librarian? No? There you go. Aqua Affinity. Um, I actually want that. So let's go ahead and wait. No. Aqua Affinity doesn't matter. I can I can easily get it using my uh, enchantment table. I'm looking for someone who has a, a big trade mending book. Darkness boy, nothing boy, and fire aspect. Okay. We got nothing. We got frost walker. And we got restoration. Come on, guys. I think y'all can do better than that. Nothing, nothing, and uh, boy, <gasps> nothing. I'm glad they don't keep their trades until you uh, actually trade with them once. And, and power four, not bad, actually. Hey, power four, boy, I actually think I'll keep you. I don't know which lectern was yours, though, so... Maybe that one. I'm gonna toss this one over here. I was gonna do yours, okay, bud? You have nothing? And you have flame, which I do not like at all, so... You ain't gonna do that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Depth Strider 3. Who's next? You? You have fire aspect, so no thanks. Come on, come on, become a librarian and get a mending book for me, please. Impaling, don't care. Tridents aren't that great, in my opinion, so I don't want them. Pain of arthropods. Worthless. It only works on spiders. Flame and... Hey, 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 what you got? Power 4. Would you have power 4 too? Yeah, power 4. A better power 4 though. Oh, that sucks. We got... Mending! 16 mending?! Oh, bro, let's fucking go. That is a beautiful trade, if I do say so myself. What about this guy? Quick charge. Don't care about that one. All right, out the way. All right. So we have all the lecterns that we need now. So we got a perfect, perfect mending book, which is just absolutely amazing. Like, at this point, we don't even need to trade for anything else. We can just like 
who you want. In fact, I might just say screw it and I'm gonna take this back. You're my mending boy? Yeah, you are. Give me the books, boy. All right, and let's... I'm just gonna make a crafting table here. I don't wanna run around a bunch. Okay. All right, mending guy. Hey, bud. Uh, I want you to go ahead and give me some more. Thank you. You. Can I even upgrade this bow? Can I do it this way? I don't think I can, can I? Oh. So what is it? It's like, uh... I don't have any more books anyway, so... Doesn't matter. Okay. Well. We got what we came for, I'm out. Um, let's try one more time. Who wants it? Who wants to become the last librarian? Huh? Who wants to? Anyone? Oh, this guy does. He's coming at it. He's making a beeline for it. He's like, <laughs> I got a good look. You know, that is actually a good book. I'll take it. I just don't have another book to give him. Right now. So, all right, let us go back home. All right, we made some good trades. You know, usually when I find a mending villager, it takes me, first of all, forever to find one. And second of all, it's like a 30 to 50 emerald trade. But my boy over there is like, I got you, fam. And gives me a nice 16 emerald trade. Like, that guy's the MVP right there. This is gonna exponentially help us out. So I can go ahead and throw the mending on my shield and my pickaxe. And then from there we can just expand and expand and expand. All right, give me this bad boy. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So, in order to upgrade this with mending, how much do I need? Three, huh? Okay. I'm gonna call it the perfect pick, even though uh, it's not perfect, because it still does not have another right. So that's whatever. Anyway, shield. How much for a mending shield? Two. I'll take it. Perfect. So beautiful. So lovely. So excelente. Great. All right. We got what we need. We got our mending books. We got a couple more of them, which is perfect. But we just need a lot more experience, is what we need right now. We can get more experience. We can get more our other stuff. Way quick. Okay. Um, let's draw my wool here. Put my boat away real quick, like. I'm gonna put my raw meat in there. Got my emeralds, there we go. Okay. So everything has been sorted out. Let us see if I can breed my animals one more time to get my mending up here. Um, at least my shield. Pickaxe isn't too much important because we're not gonna be using it a whole bunch for fighting. Those I want. This one. Okay. Here, cows. 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 
Yeah, come on, cows. Eat your heart's content. Didn't get a whole lot from that. Okay. Come here, chick, 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 chickies. Make babies with each other. I think the unbreaking um, really messed up the shield. Uh, maybe I should put mending on it before I'm breaking, huh? Although I guess I couldn't do that. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's get our wheat. Feed these boys. And we should just about. Perfect. Now that our shield is fully charged, I can get a little more from my pickaxe. They really should separate out some of these guys. All I would have to do, I guess, is just build another pen and then, like, have some go out. And any that go out are the wrong, that are the wrong type, just kill them. Just like, I don't bleed. Cool. All right. Ooh. Well, I almost damaged the crops there. All right, let's take a quick sleep. Then let's grab a regeneration potion. Because the villagers are kind of bullies. Oh, right. Okay, well, I forgot we needed experience to teleport. But hopefully, we can get enough experience here. I'm also going to kill this chicken for some added experience. There we go. Also, I forgot to put that bookshelf down. All right, up north. Let's go. If only I had the experience from crops mod installed still. That would be just truly glorious if it worked, but I can get all my stuff like repaired quite easily. Got a piggy here. Take him out. Did he drop experience? Kill some animals first before we head to the uh, tower thing. Go. Want to get up a little bit of experience? Okay. And off we go. Hopefully make, I'm not make a big deal out of this. It'll be a little bit easier, I think, than it was previously. I right, have to reload first. Oop. Get out of my way. Got a couple more coming. Flank here. Okay, I have to take this guy out. Who has a lot of boys? Okay. That's right. Hit each other. Oh crap. Cannot drink my potion. Craptastic. The craptastic. Well, that's too bad. Wait, did I keep my experience levels? Oh, I thought I was going to lose those if I died. So I literally lose nothing from dying now, huh? Is that how this is? One more and I can have a full thing there, huh? Although I don't think books matter for that table, does it? 
All right, let's go back, finish them off. Man, even on like non-hardcore, these guys hurt a little bit. I guess because there's just so many of them, and it's just they do a lot of damage. Like if it was one or two, it's, it's no big deal because you can just block them with your shield, right? But the uh, jerks. How many purple arrows are on the ground over here on the map? Look at that mini map. You want some? Come get some. Oh. Um, easy peasy. All right, the rest of them are down here in this hole, right? Yeah. Patient chief. Oh my god, he's firing three at once. Ow. No wonder he did a lot of damage to me, huh? Haha, <laughs> I got him. I was trying to make the hit himself. Now he's poisoned. Oh fuck, I forgot he did that! This is perfect. How did the Ravenger kill me? Just how? I was backed up far enough away he didn't have a chance. And it's a good thing I'm not playing on hardcore anymore, huh? <laughs> this is uh embarrassing. What's my armor doing? Okay. Not great. I guess I am only in iron armor right now, huh? If I was in uh that special armor, I'd be doing a lot better, I feel. Okay, well, I didn't even have a chance to use my potion because I've just been having to have my shield the whole time. What's wrong? Can you from there, huh? What is that? I mean, you can't do this. Come on. Got him. Get wrecked. My house. My house. Plus three vitality. I still don't know what that means, though. Let me try eating it. I can't eat it yet. I wonder if it's going to increase the amount of health that I have. Never get to find out before. Also, I can actually challenge this dungeon the way it was meant to. By going up this way. Rather than doing it from the back. How dare you. Okay. For this side first. Here, okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, Nelly! More bottles of enchanting for me. That's perfect. We got a multi shot book. Who? All right. Come at me. I always forget that they have to, like, reload before they can fire the first time. And so I'm, like, defending way before I should be. I should just be, like, charging up to them and being, like, yep, you're dead. But, uh, not what I'm doing. <sighs> All right. Platform's clear. Let's head down and clear the rest. Uh, if I correctly, there was just up here, right? Yep. I'll just take everything. Never hurts to have everything. They say. I want it all. Spectral arrows. I don't even remember what those do. Oh, 
Got him. All right. And more. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a full stack of bottles of enchanting, aren't I? Insane. Absolutely insane. Okay. Down we go. Pass through here. Wasn't there a witch here last time? I'm gonna get splashed by it. Oh, oh no, no, no. Huh? Maybe she's downstairs. Yep. Don't you do it? Okay. I managed to kill her before she got anything out. Excellent. I don't really need the bookshelves. I'm gonna ignore them. Just take everything else that I can get. Peace. Nothing in the barrels. Fine. I will, however, take this free another wart. That's not another wart, never mind. Put it back. What's this? Water bottle? Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, we've got plenty now. So, all right, that's this dungeon cleared, except for the last couple of guys who are down here. Got him. All right. One more around this side here who wandered off. Shoot. Go. Got him. All right. All right. That was a successful destruction journey, I feel. So, yeah. All right, we made some progress this time around. I think I'm going to call the stream here. I just kind of want to do a little short one. So I'll make a little bit of progress. And uh, that was great. So I can find the, the waystone, wherever the hell it is at. There it is up there. We'll head back to base and then, I guess, sleep since it's getting day or night. Yeah, we might have died a couple of times there, but we made some good progress. And that, what matters? All right, let's sleep. Sort out our inventory. All up there. So as usual, everyone, thank you all for hanging out and watching with me here. And all that good jazz. And you know, next time when we're playing, I will test out those items and see what they do exactly. You know? They have to do something. I'm just not sure what that something would be, you know? Um, anyway, I think I will build up the bale after we're done here and show you guys that after we're out of there. But for now, it's not there. He's in here. And then down here, we'll get the arrows that we have. Bottles of enchanting will go in here. Those will go in there. That goes there. All right, we're done. But yeah, everyone, thank you all for watching and all that. And this has been some survival of Minecraft. All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and quit. And head back over here. So, if you missed anything, VOD will be uploaded to YouTube here in a day or two. And, uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch when I'm actually streaming. Again, I don't have a set schedule. I just kind of stream for a couple hours here and there um, as I find time to do so. But, yeah. Magic. I don't know how I'm saying. All right. <clears throat> I'll catch you all, all later. Blah. And uh, next time we'll explore more. So until then. Bye for now.